most mysterious ocean creatures in the world. It is a well-known fact that at this point, that humankind knows far more about the expanse of outer space than we do about the oceans of our own planet. The truth of what might be dwelling in those watery depths is a terrifying enigma, and chief among those many mysteries is trying to figure out the true nature of the life that's down there. The oceans are home to all manner of odd beasts, and these are the most curious. These are the most mysterious ocean creatures in the world. Number 15. Manta Ray The majestic manta ray can be found in the warm waters throughout the world. Many in the Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian Oceans. The name manta is a Spanish word that means a mantle, or a blanket, after the type of trap that used to be used to catch various species of rays. There are two known species, the giant manta ray, that can grow up to 23 feet across, and the smaller reef manta ray, that grows to up to 18 feet in width. They have triangular pectoral fins, mouths that face forward, and a set of horn-shaped fins, and, of course, long tails. They propel themselves through the water by flapping their pectoral fins in a similar way to how birds fly with wings, and have been seen to dive as deep as 1,300 feet in search of prey such as shrimp, krill, and small crabs. The heaviest manta ray ever found weighed in at 2,980 pounds, and the size of individuals is linked with the availability of food in the regions where they live. While the two species have slightly different coloration and dental structures, recent discoveries suggest that they may be far more varied than previously thought. One individual seen on the Great Barrier Reef was pink, for example, which is thought to be the result of a genetic mutation, and makes you wonder what other types there could be. Now it's time for the juicy topic. Check out this adorable and squishy boy. This photo was snapped by a team aboard a submarine as part of a deep sea exploratory mission, mainly focusing on investigating underwater plant life. But then this guy swam up to them and smiled for the camera. He looks a little like a dolphin, but with the lack of eyeballs in his eye sockets, as well as lack of teeth in his mouth certainly makes him stand out. He almost looks like a cross between a dolphin and the Pillsbury Doughboy. Nobody is quite sure if this guy is just a unique dolphin, a brand new type of dolphin, or a whole new species altogether. All we know is that his smile is super cute. What do you guys think? Remember to comment down below with the hashtag JuicyTopic, and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. And now, to the next topic. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Sea Angel Sea angels are a large group of carnivorous sea slugs that live in the depths of the oceans across the world. They are gelatinous and almost completely transparent, and the largest of them are no more than two inches long. They have wing-like structures that flap back and forth to allow them to move through the water at a speed of up to 0.22 miles per hour. While this may sound slow, it's far more than fast enough to catch up with their prey of other types of slugs and sea butterflies. Unusually, sea angels are hermaphrodites and fertilize themselves internally. This means they have no need to find a mate, and when ready, a mass of gelatinous eggs is released into the current and floats freely until the newborns are ready to emerge. While the various species of sea angel are found in virtually all places around the world, including underneath the ice caps, population densities in some places have been measured at up to 300 individuals per cubic meter of water, they're increasingly believed to be a vital component to aquatic ecosystems systems, and efforts are underway to understand whether they're suffering from habitat changes like many other organisms are. Number 13. Christmas Tree Worm These incredible-looking creatures are Christmas tree worms, and they are found in tropical waters across the world, ranging from the Caribbean to the Indo-Pacific. They have two multicolored spiral structures on their bodies, which can be virtually any color you can think of, and have developed to aid with respiration and for filtering the water for nutrients. These crowns aren't just for aesthetics, though, and are actually a collection of tentacles that catch small organisms and push them towards their mouths. Their bodies are up to 1.5 inches long and are covered in 
and bristles that help them move across the seabed and reefs. They're most often seen hiding on coral and can form a calcium shell around themselves that acts as a protective home for them. When they're hiding in these tubes, they can seal the entrance with sharp spines, which adds a further defensive measure to prevent predators from getting to them. It's also thought that the worms have a symbiotic relationship with some species of corals. But this isn't yet fully understood and is currently a focal point of research. Number 12. Gulper Eel The gulper eel is a very strange species of fish also known as the pelican eel, that live in tropical oceans at depths around 1,600 to 10,000 feet. They have huge mouths that are much larger than the rest of their bodies, and their jaws are loosely hinged, which means that they can swallow other fish that are many times their own size. They are usually black or olive in color, and despite their name, they aren't actually true eels. Very little is known about them, though, because they live at such depths, and only a few specimens have ever been caught. Even then, they're difficult to study because by the time they have been brought to the surface, their bodies are extremely fragile once they aren't subjected to the extreme pressures. They are thought to use their long tails in a whipping fashion to swim through water, and will likely try and eat virtually everything they encounter in the darkness because they can never be sure where their next source of food will come from. Gulper eels are another example of weird creatures that live beneath the areas of the ocean that are easily accessible to us, and you have to wonder what else there is that we're yet to discover. Number 11. Leafy Sea Dragon you might think this is just a piece of seaweed floating through the water, but it's actually a leafy sea dragon, a species of fish that's native to the waters around Australia. They are covered in protrusions that allow them to blend in with vegetation very effectively. And that's the only function that these appendages perform. They have a pectoral fin on the neck and a dorsal fin on their back that they use to swim through the water. But these are virtually transparent and impossible to see, and only really allow them to make small course adjustments because their camouflage relies on them looking and moving just like a piece of detritus wood. They grow to be around 9 inches tall and feed on plankton and small crustaceans that pass by them in the water. They are fairly similar to seahorses, and just like them, male sea dragons are the ones responsible for taking care of their young. Other than when they're mating, they have fairly isolated lives. They will often stay in the same position for extended periods of time, thanks to pollution, changing conditions on the reefs, and human hunting for use in medicine and as pets, there are concerns about the future of this species, and in most areas, they have now been given protected status. Number 10. Dumbo Octopus Dumbo octopuses, whose scientific name is Grimpotuthis, are thought to live all around the world in the cold, dark depths of the ocean. There are 13 different known species, all of which have been found between 3,000 and 10,000 feet beneath the surface, and all have unusual fins that extend from above each eye that look like the giant ears of the famous Disney elephant. Specimens have been found as far apart as Oregon, New Zealand, and the Philippines, and are one of the deepest living octopuses that we know of. They prey mainly on worms and crustaceans and are unusual in that they don't have an ink sac. Instead, they are able to change their color with chromatophore cells that are across their bodies, which helps them to avoid their natural predators like sharks. You might think that their ear fins are how they swim through the water, but they actually are only used for stabilization, and they propel themselves by squeezing water through their bodies and expelling them at the back. They have special receptors, which look like white dots, that allow them to detect light sources that could potentially be prey, and slowly hover over the seabed and search for a meal, before pouncing on it and eating it whole. Number 9. Sea Nettles Sea nettles are an unusual species of jellyfish, and there are two types, one that lives around the Atlantic Ocean of the US and the other that live around the Pacific Coast. They are quite common, and the Pacific variety is the largest, growing bells that can be more than 3 feet across. They are easily identifiable by their golden brown color with red highlights, and the combination of 24 maroon tentacles surrounding their white oral arms that can stretch up to 15 feet behind them. These tentacles are how they catch their prey of small aquatic organisms 
systems and are essentially large nets that trail behind them. Luckily, their stings aren't too dangerous to humans, although they can be irritating, and because they're very easy to look after, they're often displayed in aquariums. In the wild, they usually float on the currents and take opportunities that come their way. But they are able to go against the flow too. They ingest water and squirt it out of the base of their bell, and this gives them enough propulsion to travel in whatever direction and to whatever depth they need. Number 8. Black Swallower this mean-looking fish is called the black swallower, and it's a deep-sea species that can be found around the world in tropical water. They live at depths of between 2 and 9,000 feet and are actually one of the most common species in the whole of the Atlantic. They are smaller than you might think and rarely grow larger than 10 inches long. They don't have any scales and have compressed bodies, but the most unusual thing about them is the size of their mouths. They are able to open their jaws extremely wide, and even though they have teeth, they usually eat their prey whole. They eat bonnie fish and can swallow those that are twice as long as themselves and up to 10 times their own mass. Their huge stomachs then get to work to digest the huge meal. But this doesn't always go to plan. Most of the specimens that have been found have been forced to the surface after eating a fish much bigger than themselves which means that they weren't able to digest it before it started decomposing and releasing noxious gases. Number 7. Ocean Sunfish we often hear about the large ocean mammals like dolphins and whales, but did you know that one of the largest fish in the world is the ocean sunfish? These amazing creatures can grow up to 11 feet tall and can weigh an astounding 2,000 pounds. Although some specimens have been found to far exceed this. They are native to tropical regions of the world's oceans and have a strangely flat body. Because of their size, they are extremely powerful, so they have very few natural predators. and hunt most things they come into contact with. They'll often eat jellies, small fish, crustaceans, and even large squid. And there are some studies that have suggested they're able to absorb deadly toxins from their meals to add an extra level of defense to their flesh. They are amazing fish to be within the water, and are a popular companion for sports divers who like to swim alongside them. They are docile and friendly towards humans, but there have been a few reported injuries because of their tendency to jump out of the water onto boats when they're startled. Number 6. Frilled Tooth Shark Frilled tooth sharks are a very little understood species, mainly due to the fact that not many species have been found because they live at depths of around 4,000 feet. They are thought to grow up to 7 feet long and are dark brown in color, and almost look like an eel. Specimens have been found across the world in the Atlantic and the Pacific, but their full range is still not known. Because they live so deep, only a few have ever been seen alive, and as such, they pose no risk to humans at all. That's not the case for other animals animals in the murky depths though, as frilled tooth sharks are perfectly designed for hunting in this environment. Their elongated body shape is likely what helps them hunt so well, and they're believed to coil up and leap forward in a quick motion to capture their food in a similar way to how snakes strike. They mainly eat mollusks, fish, and other sharks, and have flexible jaws that allow them to swallow prey whole. Or, if this isn't possible, they have rows of needle-like teeth that can easily penetrate flesh and prevent their target from escaping while they eat it slowly. Number 5. Diamond Squid Egg Mass Ocean divers are used to seeing strange objects floating in the water. But there's one thing that never fails to astonish those who encounter them, and it can look like a translucent glowing tube or ball. At first, they seem unbelievable, and it's not clear whether they're creatures or something else. But the truth behind them is possibly even more amazing, because they're large masses of squid eggs. No one knows how squid create these structures, but they're made from mucus and can be as much as 40 or 50 feet across, with plenty of room inside for tens of thousands of eggs. The species of squid determines the shape that their egg sac takes, and possibly the most spectacular are those that are made by the diamondback squid. They look almost like colorful undulating slinkies, and are estimated to contain just under 5,000 eggs. The membrane is thought to give the squidlings an extra level of defense while they're developing, but these structures are rarely ever seen by people. They are formed quite deep in the water, and continue to sink lower until they reach a depth of around 500 feet when the baby squid hatch. Who knows how many of these there could be floating around the ocean at any one time. Number 4. Cosmic Jellyfish 
In 2017, footage was released that had been captured by a remotely operated underwater vehicle, and it showed something unbelievable. A really beautiful jellyfish. The ROV had been exploring a region in the Pacific Ocean near American Samoa, at a depth of around 9,800 feet, and into view came a species of jellyfish that had never been seen before. It almost looked like a UFO flying through the darkness, and you can clearly see the two sets of tentacles that are optimal arranged to catch small particles of food. It's likely they eat plant matter that's fallen down from the surface and small plankton-like creatures in a region of the ocean that rarely has enough nutrients to support larger species. There's a possibility that this is very closely related to another type of jellyfish called the B. hyalinus, but researchers point to the location of the gonads on this new specimen and how they're positioned very differently. This means they know it's a distinctly separate species in its own right, and it's hoped that the future expedition will find more, and potentially even catch one to bring it back for study. Number 3. Ghost Shark Ghost sharks are a species that have been around on Earth for hundreds of millions of years. And, while they're distantly related to sharks, they technically don't fall under that classification anymore, and are, instead, regarded to be cartilaginous fish. They live in extremely deep waters around the world, and have only been seen at depths beneath 8,500 feet. They can grow to up to 5 feet in length, and there are more than 50 different species. A few are found in shallower places and are even displayed at aquariums, but the vast majority have rarely been seen by humans, and their lives are a complete mystery. They have no scales, and most have a venomous spine that they can use for defense. They use electroreception to track down their prey in the dark environment, and will hunt virtually anything that's small enough for them to wrap their mouths around. They don't, however, have very sharp teeth, and, instead, have three grinding plates that they use to crush anything they catch into a paste that they can then swallow and digest. Number 2. Halitrophes Massey Jellyfish the Halitrophes massey jellyfish is an amazing jellyfish species that can be found in most of the oceans of the world, including the Atlantic, Indo-Pacific, Mediterranean, and the Arctic. They are usually seen at depths between 4 and 5,000 feet where there's no light at all. But when illuminated by the lights on deep sea submersibles, they emit a range of color that's been described as being like an underwater fireworks display. The red canals within the translucent bell shows their internal structure, but Usually these creatures would swim through the water in absolute darkness. Their tentacles hang below them and are able to trap small fish and plankton before moving the food up towards the base of the bell where they are eaten. Very few specimens have ever been found to study though, so it's not yet clear if they can track and chase prey, or whether it's simply opportunistic, and we don't know how potent any venom that's in their stingers might be. This is likely just an example of the amazing jellies that live at these depths, and there will be countless more still waiting to be discovered. Number 1. Wolffish Atlantic wolffish are an extremely unusual looking species that are found in the depths of the Atlantic Ocean. Their habitat is so cold that they actually produce their own antifreeze-like substance inside their bodies to prevent them from freezing, and that enables them to be faster moving and thinking than anything else. The largest one ever found was 5 feet long and weighed 40 pounds. They come in a range of colors from purples and browns to blues and greens and spend their lives moving very little, instead making homes in rock and emerging to hunt for food. They have powerful jaws and sharp teeth, so they can break through the shells of mollusks and crustaceans, and also means you definitely don't want to get your hand caught in the way. Unfortunately, their numbers are rapidly falling, thanks to overfishing and habitat decline, and they're currently classified as being a species of concern. They are seen as an important litmus test to the health of the seabeds and are an effective means to control for green crab and sea urchin populations. But without many around, these invasive species are breeding like never before. Four. Which of these did you find to be the most surprising? And is there anything else you think should have been on the list? Make sure to let us know in the comments section. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. See you next time!